so you have a well documented I don't even want to call it a beef but like <laughs> an issue with uh-huh. 6 9 that you know you guys were been going back and forth for quite a few years yeah and you stopped him from performing mm-hmm. at Com- Complexicon. Yeah, yeah, the Complex. What all happened with that? Downtown Long Beach. Basically, um, like I said, what I do, I stand on it. You see what I'm saying? And my gang, my coach, where I'm from, like, we take that serious in a sense of death and family, friends, you see what I'm saying? Jail. Like, like it's real for real. You see what I'm saying? So when you mimicking and, and, and pretending and being fake about it and clowning behind money and like clout, like certain niggas don't don't feel that. Like, and I was the one that had to step up and say it. So for you to come to LA basically to do a show or feel like I'm about to do this, like nah, me and my homies went up there like we gonna stop this nigga and have to stop him. Other than that, it was like a you ain't coming around here with this clown shit doing what you feel you wanna do, but faking it you see what i'm saying like if you real you real come on come in but you fake and you ain't on that level and you ain't that type of dude so go on about your business get out of here and that's exactly what he did got the fuck up out of there yeah man uh he anti- tries to antagonize a lot of people <laughs> you know and i think you know you guys were probably the only ones yeah out of all the cities and everybody and that's why that he, he don't, that's why he don't speak on us you know what I'm that's why he don't even say a nigga name because like he know what it is you know what i'm saying he can keep speaking on everybody else not like that because other niggas ain't going for it either. when they catch catches that they don't they can catch him that's what i'm saying they can catch him but for the most part he don't say my name because he don't want to give me that look he don't want niggas to really start following me and being on me etc but he played with who he want to play with. I felt he knew he couldn't play with niggas like me, so he don't speak on me. You see, he be he been playing with niggas still to this day. You see what I'm saying? Bringing them back up and saying some shit and popping out like it's still like it's still good. Nah, bro. Like you ain't doing that to me because you know our section and us ain't playing. Period. Other than that, next question, bro. <laughs> what do you think when you seen Akon and him working? Um, I mean, I feel Akon like. He another guy in the sense of like, ain't no gang member. You feel me? He just a regular guy, so he about his dough. And he is a jailhouse type of dude, you see know what I'm saying, from when he first came, locked up and all that. It's like he know. Snitching is no go. So he went around the code in a sense of these streets, but everybody going around the codes is something he has because everybody out here doing wild shit and crazy shit. So he felt like, fuck it. Why not make this money? Somebody else going to come make it. So he just stepped up and made it, but I don't got no beef with Akon. I can't say nothing bad about him, but people gonna work with they who they gonna work with. You know, what I'm saying regardless if they snitching or telling the truth nowadays. I just see the world's crazy now, straight up. Niggas don't got that. I'ma stand on my word. A snitch is a snitch. We post to not fuck with him. He went against the code. Niggas don't got codes no more. They they just out here free living and doing what the fuck they want to do, straight up. That's out. No principle. <clears throat> They have no principle and morals about nothing. You know, it would seem that Akon would have plenty of money. That he he already got that, money. It just, know? you know, they say you can never have enough. <laughs> so he did what he had to do. Now, when I was doing my research, I ran into an old interview that you and Casanova two times did. Uh-huh. And, you know, he just, he just recently got arrested by the feds. And yeah. He's, he's looking at... I don't think it's I don't think it's as big as they making it, but they yeah. putting that life on there. Yeah, yeah. But it's like you know the charges and everything, and I'm just going. This doesn't seem like something that deserves a life sentence, even if it's true. See, you know, I, I'm hoping that he hoping he don't do no time. I'm gonna start know? off like this. Going back to the interview part, I had a little interview with DJ Self. Self called him like, hey, you know your boy coming up. He like, man, what? I'm on my way. So when I stepped in the um, studio, that's how Casanova sitting in the chair. Good dude, that's my partner. So we just chopped it up about six, nine or some more shit, new music and extra shit. Um, after that, we went downstairs, smoked, chopped it up some more. Cool dude. Getting to the point of the um, his little situation, it's like, you know, who we hang around and the people he associate themselves with, you feel me, they might be in this shit and this making him look like the biggest part of it all because he got that name. So, every nigga ain't into shit like that because they already got a name to be doing other things, you feel me, and on another level. And that's that eye to the public. So, why I fuck off really what I got going for some bullshit? 
I feel like the police just be fucking with niggas, you see what I'm saying? And he a good dude, and I feel he gonna get through it, but they be on him, hip hop police and all that. I've been in New York multiple times, they was on me. So I can imagine you being from there in a, in a name, like shit crazy. So they're targeting him just yeah. because Who he's a rapper. Yeah, you know what I mean? His gang affiliation, shit like that. That's how I feel, bro. Yeah, it seems like it's really, like rappers are really becoming more <laughs> and more of a target, you know? Yeah. It's, I mean, this year, four, we lost four big, yeah. big known uh, shootings. Pop Smoke, yeah. Duck, Vaughn. Mo3, I mean, yeah. these were all well-known yeah, rappers, shit, you shit. know? And then the feds, G Herbo, mm -hmm. I mean, they're just, it just seems like... They trying to crack down on hella niggas. It's getting tough, That's man. why you gotta stay out the way, stay low, you see what I'm saying? Play your role, you feel me? Play your role. Your role is just to rap, take these pictures, do these interviews, you feel me? Let your circle, your little crimeys do their thing, period. Stay out the way. Stay out of it, man. Straight you up. got to, especially being a rapper now. <clears throat> they're yeah. really, they're coming. Free my nigga Casanova, straight up. Free Hold Casanova, up. man. Man. Yeah, I think he'll get through it, man. Yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, we, we don't know everything yet. You know, we, they, they've leaked some stuff, but I don't know. It, it seems like a bunch of bullshit to me.